we finally get to see the penthouse. But more importantly, Karen finally reveals that she is pregnant to the girls. What's good, y'all? She gets this Erica Bain coming to you again with another sisters video right here on Erica Bain TV, your number one source for sisters content. First and foremost, I want to apologize again for not going live last night. Y'all know episode seven moving on up was dragging last night, okay? And I don't know what was going on with me and my spirit. However, your girl fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep before the basketball game with the guys and totally missed all of the main points that we needed from the episode because, you know, it was just dragging. Like it took forever for the girls to, for Andy to actually make it up to that penthouse as if her character would really not want to see it. Like I know that she was trying to stand strong because Karen was there and Karen was trying to hold her down. Like, no, don't go look at it because you're going to want to move in there if you go look at it. Okay, cool. We spent a good amount of time with Danny and Sabrina going up there to check it out first and then they come back and convince her to go up there and to look at it and it was just so much time spent on that we had one little scene that was intercut between Zach and Fatima when Andy calls to get Fatima to come over and then first they're talking about scary Gary and like Fatima's giving Zach the rundown on who Gary is and like making the connections okay cool 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 and then when Andy calls and it's like oh Karen wants you to come over Zach starts to lose it one thing I want to note y'all like while I have said this and I will continue to say this Zach and Fatima are solid Karen is not a threat to Zach and Fatima <laughs> like she just is not even if she wanted to be she's not I don't think that she wants to be but she's not what I am struggling with and this is very true to this type of character so it's not a criticism in that I don't think it should be happening or it's not authentic because it 100% it is but one thing that's not sitting well in my spirit is how Zach flips out every time he hears Karen's name if we're so healed if we've so moved on if we so good then why aren't you as cool as a cucumber sir why are you flipping out, making all these facial expressions, throw your hands up in the air? Like, why are you doing all of this? Why does the even mention of Karen's name cause such a visceral reaction, but you are so-called healed? but you're so-called move on. Now, yes, him and Fatima are in a stable, healthy relationship. He's 100% dropped in there. However, I'm pointing that out because Zach still has some healing to do. I was very disappointed in Zach overall in this episode. Like he has some moments where like when we go to the basketball game and he actually checks Gary and then walks away, calls him goofy or whatever. I definitely think that that was great, but I didn't like how Zach was starting sh and talking sh about Karen. Like you, if you so called moved on if you so-called good one when you stand in front of Fatima face why are you doing all this like I'm gonna need you to be much more calm much more well adjusted and actually healed if you're saying you healed but then when we get to this basketball game I'm gonna need you to not be trying to flex in Aaron's face like you got an attitude first of all it's not even your first time playing basketball together and now all of a sudden you got all this smoke you didn't have all this smoke when Karen was actually at the basketball court like when you actually chased the ball over to the corner while she was talking to Aaron she had showed up there she wasn't even paying you no mind didn't even realize that she was there until you ran over in the corner she was not sweating you she was not bothering you and that for me is the contradiction for Zach's character which again is a hundred percent normal like when I tell y'all that I dated a Zach <laughs> I definitely I definitely dated a Zach which is probably why I feel so relatable to Karen and this is exactly what it looked like like during our decoupling during our phase after <laughs> the aftermath it very much so looked like you were talking trash about me as if I didn't do everything that I was supposed to do when I was with you and you weren't the wrong one now mind you Karen was definitely slick out more slick out the mouth than I was I wish honestly sometimes that I had spoken like Karen did I've only had a few moments where I gathered his ass but looking back on it I'm like girl you could have definitely been a little bit more lethal anyway I definitely experienced that and I just think it's goofy and I think it's whack and it's not who I want Zach to be however in understanding you know these characters and the journey that they're on right like like, I think a lot of people who hate Karen or struggle with Karen as a character are not giving her grace during this time of the decoupling. So like breakups don't look like you break up and then all of a sudden you just don't care about this person no more. So the fact that y'all are like acting like she just is stupid because she still thinks about him or she still loves him is really insensitive AF and unrealistic, but y'all go off. But I said that to say for Zach in this, in this circumstance or season after 
you know, Karen after their relationship is, you know, completely over. And in his new thing with Fatima, it does look like at this part of his journey, the way that he moves forward is having these visceral reactions to her, having these overreactions to her, and also getting a little bit into his ego and talking his sh So while I don't like it, while I feel like it's goofy, I understand why he's doing it. And I do believe that this is still part of what his moving forward journey looks like. Like I think Karen is definitely walking into a season of getting more grounded, getting more focused, especially now that she's like accepting this baby. She told Zach, she told Aaron. Now she's told the girls like she's back on stable ground and like, okay, what do I need to do to move forward to be the best mom I can be, to be the best woman I can be. And even if y'all ain't gonna let her have that, I'm gonna give it to her because I feel like she has definitely been moving in a very grounded way. Like we definitely had a few episodes where she was overly emotional, a little bit irrational and y'all won't never let her live it down for it. But okay. <laughs> So yes, I struggled with Zach in this episode just because I didn't like that. And clearly his entanglement or getting a, even a little bit, the little ounce of involvement that he has with Gary is going to come back to bite him, unfortunately. So there's that. I'm totally here for the storyline of like him going up against Gary and hating by default versus him dropping into his ego maniac bag and or toxic masculinity and peacocking about having Karen and no longer being with Karen and whatever that does for his serotonin levels I don't know <laughs> I love you, Zach, but you know, we all still a work in progress. Moving on, before I actually move on completely from Zach, let's also double back to Fatima. So in, in the scene with her and Zach, and they're, you know, talking about Gary at first, but then the whole Karen thing comes up. And I like that they actually had a conversation about, you know, Zach's comfortability and if Fatima could go. I love the little nods and nuances of like Fatima checking in with him. And then he's like, are you asking my permission? And then in that moment, you can see her do the calculations in her head. like. No, I ain't asking you for your permission, but she ain't say that. She literally just gave him a little nod because you know, sometimes we just gotta let our men have certain things. And it's like, if you want this in this moment to feel like you gave me permission to do this particular thing, I'm gonna go ahead and let you have that. And I was like, yo, that is just so real because in our heads it'd be like, yo, who do you think you are? But you know what? This is not even that fight. It's not the hill I wanna die on with this. So we are gonna go ahead and let it happen. So I absolutely love this. I don't know where we're going with Fatima's character, but the moment when and Zach mentioned that Karen was at the house and then she blacks out or like spaces out and like it's frozen for a second. I'm just like, oh my God. I don't, I, honestly y'all, I don't believe Fatima the character is intimidated or feels any type of thing about Karen. Like I really don't feel like Fatima the character who I think that she, that Tyler is trying to make her to be. Now I could be wrong, but the character that Tyler is trying to make her to be, I don't think that that character actually feels like Karen has any any impact or Zach or that Zach wants her back like I feel like that she is solid in that like I've said this before I really feel like Fatima's biggest thing is going to be other women like new women because I feel like she knows the Karen situation inside and out and she's comfortable like it's not a great situation but she's comfortable with that so to have her black out at the thought of Karen coming to the house I was just like why <laughs> like what okay and I guess it's also to give more easter eggs to the point that you know Fatima really is crazy we're probably building up to something like that in reference to her storyline going into Zatima check out my Zatima video y'all I did a breakdown of what we know about the spinoff between Zach and Fatima getting cards above description box down below but I was just like okay I feel like that was forced honestly I felt like it was really forced to make like for them to have that abrupt interruption in that moment even though it wound up being like a play into how their relationship is and it gave us a little bit more insight into Zach and Fatima because Zach is like treading cautiously and also being mindful and like wait what's going on and he's learning something about Fatima in this moment and then you know he's able to flip it and make it a little bit playful and then she kind of comes back and then they're in there and then they get to the point of that whole conversation and decide that she is actually going to go and you know meet up with the girls and see Karen but I just felt like it was kind of forced now we do like I said we do get some more character development so I ain't going to harp on it too much but I just felt like that just felt really really weird <laughs> But we're going to go ahead and let Tyler Perry have that. So as I predicted, we were not going to see Fatima actually go to the penthouse and meet up with the girls in this episode. That is definitely coming next episode. I think next episode is really going to be a huge Fatima episode. Y'all, I've already done a breakdown for episode eight synopsis where I talk about what my predictions are for this and I'm still holding true to those. So you can check that video out as well as I did a full rest of the season four titles and synopsis breakdown where I give you the one, the, the play by play and the predictions that I have for the rest of the season based 
yourself with what the titles of the episodes are and the synopsis of the episode. So please check those two videos out after you're done watching this video. So th that's kind of all we get from Fatima. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that she reassured Zach of like, don't be fooling with Gary. He might got his money thing together, but he is literally Andy's Gary and clearly he's a problem. And Zach knows of that because, you know, he was going through the drama, took Andy and Karen to the police station when Andy was assaulted by that dude after Gary beat that dude up in the car. Like it was just, he knows like a little bit of the gist about Gary just from the time that he was with Karen early on in the season. So he already knows what that deal is. And by the end of the episode, we get to see exactly how raggedy he's going to be. And I'm going to say, I told y'all so because a lot of people was coming for me. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be the girl to say, I told you so, but I'm going to say, I told you so. Because a lot of people was coming for me. Oh, let Gary uh redeem himself. And Gary's not going to do Zach dirty. Gary not going to da, 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 da. Gary's going to be a better person. Gary is trash, has always been trash. I have been telling y'all that he's trash. And why in the hell won't y'all let me take him out, put him on a curb and leave him there? Like why? He's ridiculous. And he's shown that in this episode. Like he tried to coerce Zach to go and talk to Fatima to get Fatima to talk to Andy for him. Ain't nobody going out here caping for you. You abuser, you manipulator. No, absolutely not. And then you trying to bargain around. Boy, oh, so you gonna help Zach. You gonna get him out of whatever mess that he into as long as he help you get Andy back. Boy, bye. You, that ain't gonna happen regardless. I'm not gonna, mm -mm. I'm not signing up for your Hail Marys, especially because you're a terrorist. No, absolutely not. So shout out to Zach for that. The best thing that Zach did this whole episode was standing up to Gary and checking him on how goofy he is because he, I think he needs a male to check him on how goofy he is, especially now that he's making friends with Hayden. Tragic. But let's talk about the real y'all because we already 10 minutes into this video and <laughs> we haven't even got to the best part that I actually fell asleep before. Uh, Karen announces that she's pregnant. Danny's first response is, are you going to keep it? I also called this. Y'all, I did a video talking about what the girls are going to say about Karen's pregnancy. Check that out. All the videos that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box down below. And then it kind of cuts off there because we get her announcement right at the very end of the episode where they're like, why aren't you drinking? And she's like, I can't drink. And they're like, yes, you can. We're celebrating. First of all, what are you celebrating, girl? That you got this minute still on your ass? But okay. And she announced it. And it almost felt like a breath of like fresh air and relief of like, okay, this is what it is. I am going to be doing a preview and a predictions video because while Fatima comes in dressed in all black like an omen, I don't necessarily love the dialogue that they showed in the trailer. So we, we gonna have to talk about it. The girls, they take forever to get up to this penthouse, but once they do, the very last moments is spent with the conversation about that. And then mostly everybody's in shock except for Danny. Sabrina, you know, tells her like, Danny, you can't say that. And I, like their personalities are just so distinct and it's really cool. Do we think that Andy's actually going to keep this penthouse. I mean, he had this big old picture of her plastered on the wall and it's gorgeous. KJ Smith is absolutely stunning. My God. Do we think Andy's going to keep it? Let me know in the comment section down below. A few people were kind of annoyed of like Karen not wanting Andy to go up there and not wanting Andy to keep the apartment, but I am kind of in, in, in alignment with that. And it's not even just because I love Karen. It's because it does not matter how many mountains he moves, how much money he throws at her. Gary has yet to show that he's actually a changed person. Not even enough time has passed for her to even be able to process and heal like he won't even give her any space to just breathe like he's on her neck like a damn leech throwing all of these expensive ass gifts at her and calling it love at what point of this is love what because i don't see it but y'all that is my breakdown for episode seven moving on up hit the subscribe button if you're new here turn your bell notification so that you don't miss out on my sister's videos because i got a few coming for y'all we about to have some conversations and you know what y'all gonna be big mad but it's all good because i love you and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye Bye.